Hello, welcome to S7 1200 tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how we can use or define math functions. First, we'll have a short review of data types. Then, we'll explain math functions which can be used in TIA software. And finally, we'll do a simple project. All right, let's see some basic of data types. See this table. The first data type is Boolean, which include one bit. One bit has two states. It can be used to represent, an input is activated or not, an output is on or off. A bit memory is one or zero. Also the RLO, result of logic operations, is false or true. If you remember, the first number, refers to the byte number of memory. And the second number, determines its bit number. Which scan be 0 to 7. Then we have byte. It's included 8 bits, we just, write byte number, to refer a byte, such as M0. With 8 bits, we can store 80 to 8 ones at a byte address. These can be used to represent number 0 to 255. See here, calculate power 8 of number 2. It's 256. This number shows, number of all states which can be have with 8 bits. Here, these states can be used to represent 0 to 255. Pay attention, there are 4 standards to represent a number. Binary, octal, decimal, and hexadecimal. Usual we use decimal numbers in our daily life, but on computer's knowledge, other standards are used frequently. For example, now, you can see 4 represents of number 3. Now, I have 4 represents of number 255. It was a short review of these standards, which probably you have studied at school. Let me continue to see other data types. A word is included 16 bits. Here, we use W letter between M and byte number. MW0 is included byte 0 and byte 1. It can store numbers from 0 to 65535. With double word, we can store bigger numbers. Now, pay attention to unsigned integer and integer format. Like the word format, these need 16 bits. But, the way of their storing are different. Unsigned integer use all 16 bits to store a positive number from 0 to 6553. But the integer format use the last bit for sign. It just uses 15 bits to store numbers. For the last bit, 0 means the number is positive, and 1 is used for negative numbers. It supports numbers from minus 32768 to 32767. The double integer with 32 bits, supports a larger range than simple integer. For fractional numbers, the real format is used. It uses 32 bits like double integer, but its storing way is different. Let me open, the help of TIA software. Here search data type. Click here. On the right side, you can see different data types. 
Click on floating point numbers which use real format. Click here, now, you can see how the real format uses 32 bits, to store fractional numbers. Math functions work based on numbers. It was necessary to review basic data types, which are used in TIA software. Now, let's start to learn math functions. These instructions are here. Well, let's start with addition. This is the latter symbol of add function. For math functions, we need to determine data types. This function is used to add the value at input in 1 and the value at input in 2 and query the sum at its output. Here we have two values from two counters, 10 and 6. The summation of these numbers is 16. But here is 0, y. This and other math functions have a enable input. Here, if the i0.0 .0 input is activated, then add function will do its work, and store 16 at mw1 address. Alright. The subtract instruction, subtract the value at input in 2 from the value at input in 1, and sends the difference to its output. Pay attention, if I click here, another input will be inserted to add functions. So I can use add function to add 3, 4, or more values. But the subtract function doesn't have this feature. Now let's see other functions in TIA software. This is ladder symbol of multiply instruction. Here, this function multiply 10 with 6, and stores 60 at MW1 address. As you see, this instruction can multiply more than two values. Next instruction is division. Here, this instruction divides 10 by 6, and return its quotient. Next instruction is mod, which is from modulo of mathematics science. This instruction divides the value at input in 1, by the value at input in 2, and sends the remainder of division to its output. See this division to learn last two functions. Alright, we can use the increment instruction, to change the value of the in-out parameter to the next higher value. Pay attention. Here, both input and output addresses is MW4. The value of this address will be incremented by this positive signal edge. Pay attention. Suppose I press I0.0 .0 push button for a half seconds. As you know the scan cycle time is about 0.5 milliseconds. So when I press the push button one time, this line will be executed thousand time. So, if I want to change MW4 from 13 to 14. I must use positive edge instruction. If I use a normally open contact, the MW4 value will be increased rapidly. The next instruction, decrement, works inversely. For example, it can change 12 to 11. Next instructions are used to find minimum or maximum values. For example, the minimum of 10 and 6 is 6. These instructions can have more than two inputs. Here, the max function shows 10 from its inputs.
the negative function changes the sign value at the in input. If it is 12, this instruction will give us minus 12. If the input value is minus 5, it will send 5 to its output. ABS is the used syntax of absolute function, for many programming languages. It gets absolute value. For example for minus 12 or 12 value at an input, we'll have 12. Alright, next instruction is used to limit, the value at input in, to the values at the inputs mn and mx. If the value at the in input is between mn and mx value, it will be copied to the output. For example, here, if the counter value was 2, 3, 4, or 5, it is copied to output. But now, it is 10, which is greater than mx value, so instead of 10, we'll have 5 at output. If I reset my counter to 0, which is less than 2, the output of this function will be 2. Next instruction is used to create a function. Let's see that in TIA software. Alright, here are math functions which have been told. Let me insert calculate function. I chose double integer format. Click here. Here you can see an example to define function. And here you can see operands which can be used. Let me define a simple function. If I want, I can click here to add another input. Well, let me insert two number. First I write 4. Here is a simple and important point. If I write a 7.0 instead of 7, the TIA software stores that, at real format, well, what is this rectangular? Pay attention, my function works based on double integer format, but its second input has real format. This rectangular is appear to say, TIA software try to convert real format to double integer. Let's test this program. All right, the exact answer is minus 3.66, the double integer format, omits its fraction and show minus 3. Let me change format of the function to real and test it again. This time, my program calculate the answer correctly. As you see, math functions which have been told are simple. The main point is take care of the format of data. For the last example, 4 and 7 are integer numbers, but the correct answer is fractional. Alright, in this video, some math functions have been told, in the next video, we'll see others math functions, and then well do a simple project. Thanks for watching.